welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're counting down Meldrick Taylor best knockouts. Number 5. Meldrick Taylor vs Ivan Gonzalez. On April 9, 1988, Taylor beat Ivan Gonzalez by TKO at 2.47 in round 5 of 10. Here with good speed. Devastating hooks to the body over Richard Fowler and Corpus Christi. And the left by Taylor scored. Great hooks by Taylor. He's, he's... The Taylor corner urging him to use the jab. Or oh, right connects by Meldrick Taylor. And now he goes in to finish, keeping his distance. Meldrick so continues the nervous stick. Oh, oh what a combination by Meldrick Taylor. I've been trying to throw something to discourage Taylor, but he will not be discouraged. He knows he can finish here. Hard body punches by Melvick Taylor. Relentless attack here by Taylor. Taylor. And Gonzalez goes down. Gonzalez trying to put anything together to keep Meldrick off. Meldrick Taylor determined to knock his man out. The assault continues. Gonzalez's punches have no... He was in the Olympics. And what you learn from that last round is that he will go to the body. Oh, two great shots by Melvin. The IBF champion Buddy McGirt. That would be a blazing fight. Down goes Gonzalez once again. And Taylor, uh, once again, the effective aggressor. A shot to the ribs by Taylor. Combination to the body by Taylor. Another blistering attack. Steele said one more time you react like that, I'm stopping. It is easy to realize that he might have a broken rim, and that is it. Number 4. Meldrick Taylor vs. Luke Leche. On November 15, 1984, Taylor beat Luke Leche by TKO at 231 in round 1 of 6. 3. May have to go 6. Against Luke Leche, and he lands the first left. Ball red Taylor. Beginning the first round, exhibiting the type of style to which we've become accustomed. He likes to walk in, he likes to force the action, he's aggressive, style wise, savvy wise, and certainly he does not lack for confidence. Good right hand. Taylor with a good little combination, partially picked off, but he works Lexi into the corner and goes to work now on the body. Taylor with a good left followed by a right that staggered Lecce. Goes to work on the body, displaying really incredible ring savvy. Look, man, only 18, and down goes Lecce. And he gets up now at the count of eight. Referee Luis Rivera letting him continue, but it doesn't appear for long. As Taylor goes to work on it. Taylor with a good left again, and Lecce goes down. Again, the mandatory eight count. If he goes down again, it's automatically over. A left, another left, a left to the side of the jaw by Taylor. A right, but it had Lecce backing away, so he didn't absorb the full blow. But that left gets him more damage. All Taylor, Lecce trying to fight back reflexively, but Taylor ends it right here with the third knockdown of the first round. Number three. Meldrick Taylor vs. Danny Vargas. On December 11, 1986, Taylor beat Danny Vargas by TKO at 149 in round 2 of 10. But never quite reached it. Meldrick uses both hands very well. I can understand Hill's feelings. Uh... I guess he's got to be concerned a little bit with that left hand in it, and that's troubled him before. Taylor, nice combination. Well, using the body punches effectively. And the two that he landed, about 20 certification fights. <laughs> Beautiful combination work by Taylor. I heard the, the former middleweight contender, George Benton, talking. He didn't really hear anything from Lou Duva. Body into his punches. You can see him bend and really get his body behind his punches. Vargas. Legs now just a little, a little wobbly for Vargas. He's trying to confuse Taylor, but Taylor won't allow it. 
Sam, look at that blur of red. Oof. Taylor, too quick for Vargas. Vargas goes down. He's hurting. He's breathing deeply. Oh, he's Remember the body shots in the first round? That's it. It's all over. Number 2. Meldrick Taylor vs. Craig Hoke. On January 29, 1994, Taylor beat Craig Hoke by knockout at 102 in round 3 of 10. Inmediatamente sale Meldrick Taylor, Meldrick Taylor, Taylor de negro, Craig Hoke, de pantalón rojo. Keep him up, keep him up. Lo, lo evita, y yo creo que tiene razón. Oye, buena derecha de Meldrick Taylor. Y sale a distribuir castigo, otra más. Y sale con unos brillos cuando tenía 18 años. Y acaba de... De vencer a Juan de Félix Tito Trinidad, que tiene 21 años, es muy alto, una letal pegada de derecha. Y bueno, y lo quieren enfrentar a Jorge Boy Campa, no sabe lo que es perder, es un boxeador que va para adelante, sumamente versátil, agresivo, del mismo esta que sufrió su primera derrota, como ustedes recordarán, ¿No? frente a Julio César Chávez. Puse muy bien, Meldrick Taylor, es estupendamente bien. Mira cómo tiene el pómulo de derecho, Craig Hall. Tirando el cuerpo arriba contundentemente. Lo noqueó en el cuarto round y posteriormente frente a Crisanto España. Recordando Crisanto se coronó campeón del mundo. El oponente donde cambió. Meldrick Taylor fue, fue después de la durísima confrontación. Le pegó bajo, dice. Para mí fue acción muy mal Meldrick Taylor sí. ante Crisanto España que lo va a pulir. Es más, lo despachó. ¡A la lona! Estupendo a Percati. Oh. Qué bien, Zach nunca fue igual, pero ante Crisanto España, a la lona, la izquierda ascendente despachando a Creja. Y a otra cosa, mariposa, se acabó el play. Number 1. Meldrick Taylor vs. Spuddy McGirt. On September 3rd, 1988, Taylor beat defending IBF light welterweight title Buddy McGirt by TKO at 159 in round 12 of 12. He just did something there that George Button told him between rounds not to do. Michael Taylor led with his right hand. They want to avoid the McGirt counter punch, the left hook counter. At least one of the two best fights of his career. Expect to this early stage of the fight. And he's not quite as quick as we might expect. Throwing many more power punches and many fewer. Oh, he just got caught with a good right hand. He sure did. Perspective. Now, in these moments here are interesting. There's no action going on. There's some good right hand lead by Meldrick and punches behind it. And again, McGirt does nothing to respond. That... Again, Meldrick to... An IBF Junior Wellaway title bout dominated by the challenger in the dark box that you see in front of you now, Meldrick Taylor. And again, Taylor, get, you know, best hope right now is, is really two things. One, Meldrick has to run out of gas in order for Buddy to get back in this fight, it appears. He has to... Uh, Look at those punches. Buddy McGirt has to have a knockout to win. Yes. It did. I was just going to say, Buddy just seems to have a little bit more on his punches. He woke Meldrick up, and now Meldrick's pinned Buddy on the ropes and is taking out whatever energy Buddy had summoned seemed to be drained out of him by the Taylor response. Oh, he has sapped his head. And the style that Henry Armstrong had. That's a slip. That's, That's a slip. no knockdown. He'll give it all he has. He'll let it all fly, hoping to nail Meldrick Taylor his only chance. a tribute both to Buddy McGirt's heart and his determination to keep his championship and also the fact that Meldrick, while he can land those kind of... McGirt's cut reopened above the left eye. He is off balance, staggering backwards now, and I don't know if he's going to make the 12-round bell. And he is tremendously tired. Gamely back to Meldrick Taylor. Meldrick Taylor has a gaping cut over his right eye. It will not be there. Al Cerno stopped the fight. Al Cerno's taking his back. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.